Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Alliance Group Podcast. Today, we have Tony Morrison. Uh, he is the AVP and National Sales Manager from Foresters, and we're doing a little thing uh, we're calling Coffee with Carriers uh, today. So, Coffee with Carriers. Mm-hmm. Cheers, Tony. Thanks so much for joining us on the podcast. You're man. welcome. Quick sip. All right. So, uh, Tony, uh, you came all the way from Florida for this. Yes. Sunny Florida. You got it. Where are you living in Florida these days? In between Tampa and Orlando, Lakeland, Florida. All right. And you're with uh, Foresters, which Mm -hmm. is headquartered in Toronto, Canada. Toronto, Canada. I have got to get up sometime to Toronto. Too too cold right now. (laughs) Too cold right now. Maybe a little spring trip would be nice, but I've always wanted uh, to get up to Toronto. Foresters. Uh, of course, as you all know, uh, you know w- one of our carriers here at Alliance Group, um, and a living benefits carrier as mm-hmm. well, Tony. Mm-hmm. Which, of course, you guys know we we yep. love living benefits here at Alliance Group. Uh, tell me a couple of uh, you, there's there's actually a couple of things going on at Foresters um, as far as uh, things that are new. One of them is this fund your dreams thing yeah. that was just recently announced. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the Foresters Fund Your Dreams uh, yeah, program. Yeah, and I'll tell you, it's a tremendous opportunity. You know, over the years, we've always uh, had a trip, and trips are certainly wonderful. They're fabulous to go on. Sometimes the trips may not coincide with somebody's schedule. Oh, yeah, especially when you have several of them. <laughs> Absolutely. You have <laughs> several year. of them, and, and you know what? Kids do things, whether it's skiing, soccer, baseball, whatever it is. So we tried to find something that would help an agent be rewarded for their production with us mm-hmm. and at the same time do what they wanted to do. Right. And so we put together a program that, that uh, has kicked off that will pay up to 12% of somebody's commission uh, or actually 12% of the premium as far as uh, commission goes as an additional deposit into their commission account on a quarterly basis. Yeah, so this was, I was looking over some of these numbers. These are, this is a really significant bonus. Huge. This isn't, this isn't jump Mm-mm. change, right? I mean, yeah. it, it, it does make sense. You are kind of replacing the entire yeah. in- incentive trip. And so if you're doing that, you know, it, these, the, these are pretty nice, yeah. nice bonuses you guys are throwing down. So 12%. 12%. is the first kind of tier. Right? Yeah, so we're going to run it on a quarterly basis so somebody can uh, you know on a quarterly basis realize their their benefit or their you know recognition for that. So the minimum tier is going to be $20,000 of paid premium mm-hmm. and we're going to pay 12% of that back to the agent. So right. you know that's going to be what my Alabama math tells me that's $2400. Right. <laughs> so once we hit uh, to the $25,000 number, then we're going to pay 15% on the 20 to 25,000. So it's incremental. Right. And then once they hit 30,000, we're going to pay 18% on the 25 to 30,000 again incremental. Mm-hmm. So there's a tremendous opportunity in in for the agent to realize some significant cash in their pocket. And so let's assume that somebody just hits 20,000 every quarter. I mean, you're looking at, uh, again, Alabama math, that's about $9,600 in your pocket, right? Yeah, that's... So pretty pretty nice pop. And again, you use the money for what you want. You know, if you're looking at a new car, a kitchen reno, your own trip, yes. you know, something for your kids. Exactly. Hey, $9,600 goes a long way for that. I mean, it, it, there is something to be said for that because, you know, if it, generally you have top producers who are usually mm-hmm. ones that are qualifying for these things, and they might qualify for two or three trips uh, in the year, right. and then they've got their family who's like, hey, can we go on a non-insurance-themed trip sometime, right? Right. Uh, and, you know, so you've got your own vacations to work into that, and – also, you're a top producer, so uh, you can't be on vacation like yes. half of the year. Right? No, you, so. you, you may not like Mexico. You may, you want to go to Disney, then you you go to Disney. Your exactly, choice. exactly. I, I I think it's fantastic, and you know the one thing uh, our agents uh, definitely love. I think it's ubiquitous across uh, all agents is. Yeah. They don't mind a little extra cash in their pocket, Tony. Cash is never wrong. I have noticed that. I have noticed <laughs> that. That that seems to be a pattern. Um, so. Let's actually talk about, first of all, that's mm-hmm. that, that's fantastic. We're really excited about that new program, the Fund Your Dreams program. Um, so agents, make sure you get your business in at Forrester so you can uh, so you can get some extra cash in your pocket. Um, let's talk about, um, you know, one thing that I have always felt kind of weird or, or bad about is when we're on webinars and we're talking about Foresters, which is a fantastic mm-hmm. company that has great living benefits, competitive mm-hmm. rates across the board. One thing I always end up feeling like I have to point out is one thing that I view as a very, very strong suit of Foresters, which is the way that they treat two um, uh, types of clients that can be problematic at our other mm-hmm. carriers, one of which being diabetics, right. the other being tobacco users, mm-hmm. smokers, right? Mm-hmm. 
uh, and Foresters does things with these groups of people that are really, really advantageous and that are different from what other carriers do. So I feel like I have to call attention to that. Let's let's first talk about what you guys do with diabetics, which yeah. is you have a really fantastic program um, and kind of underwriting uh, workflow when it comes to diabetics that can make it much easier for agents to work with those types of people and get them a a a, a plan in place uh, without right. you know right. breaking their back over it. Sure. No. In, in, in I'll tell you. Um, you know, it, it's a great opportunity for agents. I mean, listen, we run into diabetics all the time. You got 34 million people who are diabetic. You've mm-hmm. got significantly more that are pre-diabetic than that. Yep. So, you know, is there an opportunity? Listen, they need coverage. They have families. They have mortgages. They have other needs. It, and we just found an opportunity for us, maybe a niche where we can go in and cover those. You know, on the Strong Foundation, which is the only product that we're going to go real in-depth on the diabetics, we can on the other ones, but as in-depth as we're going to talk about. The Strong Foundation, we will actually go up to a Table 12 non-medically in right. underwriting. Their A1C can be as high as 10.9, mm-hmm. you know, 8.9 and below. Which is, which is huge. I, I don't huge. you know, I don't know a ton about it, but 10.9, that's 10, a... 10.9 is a lot. It, it, it's a bunch. Even 8.9 will go right. up to Table 6 standard at 8.9. Now, granted, we could need to make sure that there's not any neuropathy or things like that. So, you know, I typically call it, let's say, a healthy diabetic. Mm-hmm. You know, there are people out there that have diabetes that for some reason, maybe their A1C they can't control. Maybe it's higher than normal. Maybe it's in the sevens. If it's in the sevens, gosh, we're probably going to be at a standard rate, assuming everything else is normal. If you get that person that's at nine and you think, gosh, I can't underwrite these, the, you know, this, this client, well, think again. We can use a strong foundation, right? And uh, and still get that client underwritten. We'll right. go to five hundred thousand dollars through Table Six Standard. We'll go to three hundred through Table Twelve through Age Fifty Five. It's a great opportunity to offer coverage, and it's convertible. Yeah, and you guys have that awesome calculator, which is the we thing do. that I love too. Because I, you know, it's, it's sometimes with agents, it's like there's so much going on. And right. You guys break it down to the most simplest. Uh, you know, form possible, which is just like you have like three or four questions, right. answer them. What's your uh, what's your latest A one C? There's a couple of other yeah, questions. Height and weight. How long yep. have you had your diabetes? Uh, your age. And I'll tell you, it's six questions. You hit enter, and it gives you a general idea of where that client's going to fit. Yep. You know, because that's the question that comes up a lot when you have clients who are unhealthy. Is gosh, I don't know where this is going to fit. This is kind of our field underwriter. Now, yeah. I wish I could say we could hit, hit, hit uh, the, send, the send button and it'd be approved. Right. But it does have <laughs> Maybe to go through day. underwriting. Yeah. But, <laughs> it does but have it, to go through underwriting, but yep. it, I mean, it, it, one, the agent literally answers four questions. It can take three minutes uh, yep. and they will have a rating at the end. It's, it, it's the either be- standard or yep. a couple of substandard yeah. options. Yeah. So we'll go through table 12. So really, right. when you fill out those six questions, you're going to hit submit. It's going to come back with either standard, a rating class. Mm-hmm. Or decline. Right. Uh, at that point in time, let's assume that it's standard or a rating class. You're going to hit another button, and you can go right to the illustration, the mobile quotes, and run an illustration right there. Email it to your client, uh, and it works very well. It generally gives you a good idea where that client will fit. Right. And then, of course, you're going to submit the application. We're going to run the MIB prescription history. We're going to look at some medical data, and then, you know, assuming that all that is, is in where it line it should be. It's it's a it's an issue. It's just it's it's just something that's really uh, really nice for agents to have. You know, for me in my head when I when I'm talking to a client and they say I'm di- diabetic, the first the first place my head goes is well I'm going right. to do this Foresters because it's easier that way. They they, they know a lot about this mm-hmm. space. They're very competitive in this space, and it's going to make it easier on me. It's going to make it yep. easier on my client, and that is a good thing. Now the yep. other thing, uh, the, the other area that I that I mentioned uh, that Foresters really excels in is tobacco usage. Yep. Which, as we know, for all other carriers, is you know anything tobacco. If you if you look at a vape pen, you are tobacco. Not really, right. but right. if you vape, if you use a you know if you smoke, obviously, if you dip, if you chew, but even if you use nicotine gum or a yep. nicotine patch, if you can test positive for nicotine, you are a smoker. Uh, yep. In these other carriers' books, now with you guys at Foresters, very specifically. You have to be smoking cigarettes to Correct. be considered a tobacco user, right? Which is a very, which is a very big difference, as I said, between the other carriers. So here's the, here's the thing, Tony. Is I hate going back to what I was saying before. I don't want to people to look at Forrester right. as well. That's where I'm going to take all my diabetics and my smokers, <laughs> and you know, and that's sure. it. That isn't fair because you no. guys have. We got to stay in business, right? Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, it, it's like I said. I think the reason that I want to pose that to agents is because. You got to work Foresters into right. your business somehow. Right. I, it's a fantastic company. You're awesome. 
we want to grow Forrester's business. I think we start with if our agents can look at when I ha- when I have a diabetic or when I have a smoker, I should be considering Forrester's, and that will get them into using Forrester's. Right. Once they're there, I I think that they'll start submitting uh, sure. a lot more business for their, of course, non-diabetic and non mm-hmm. non uh, tobacco using clients because you guys do have a, a very impressive product lineup. We Tell do. me about. Um, from our Alliance Group agents' mm-hmm. perspective, what should they be looking at with their non-diabetic and, and, and non-tobacco uh, using clients uh, as far as yeah. what you guys have at Forcers? Yeah, and, and, and Samuel, thanks. I mean, you're absolutely right. I mean, the Strong Foundation is a niche product where mm-hmm. it's going to look at the diabetics, it's going to look at the smokers other than cigarettes or tobacco users other than cigarettes. Mild COPD is acceptable on that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but we do have other products. We have the Your Term product, which is our medically underwritten term. Yep. Um, tremendously priced. We think it, it competes very, very well in the marketplace. Again, it's a medically underwritten, and there's an accelerated, accelerated underwriting component to that right. as so well, should you want it. Very similar to what you would see at very the term similar. products yep. at, at our other carriers. Very, very similar, and in, in, like I said, very competitively priced. Mm-hmm. Uh, Smart UL, which is our current assumption UL, 4.55 rate right now, 10-year lapse protection guarantee, you can sell that either non-medically or medically. So mm-hmm. non-medically, we'll go to 400000 through fifty five, up to 150000 through eight seventy five. Mm-hmm. So you have that client that wants permanent coverage but doesn't want to go through medicals. Uh, there's an opportunity there. And it's favorable to diabetics with an 8.9 A1C and below. Mm-hmm. So it's favorable there. It's just not as liberal as the strong foundation. All right. So that's that's a fixed UL? Fixed UL. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. Which, yeah. Is, which is something that we're, you know, mm-hmm. we, we're, that there is room for that um, in our other carriers lineup. It's, it's very is. nice to have one at Foresters as yeah. far as a, a fixed UL with a very competitive rate. Yeah. And the other product that you may not hear a lot about, you know, because we've always talked about a lot of term is our Advantage Plus product, which is our participating whole life plan. Again, great current, great cash, uh, um, you know, growth product. Mm -hmm. Um, A lot of people are using that for traditional whole life. You can do it again, non-medically up to 400,000 through 55, 150 through 75, or you can use it medically um, for, you know, just tremendous cash value. A lot of people are using that product and we do a ton of that product in college funding infinite banking, those types of concepts, because it's got both single and flexible paid up additions riders. We have a tremendous group in Minneapolis that can run the quotes for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, but again, the guarantees are strong. The cash accumulation is strong. Good grief. You can put up to $200,000 a year into the paid up additions rider. Wow. Uh, so you're looking for somebody that is looking to grow cash. Um, listen, as a participating product, I think it'll compete with anything that's out there. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, the, the other really big thing uh, that I wanted to make sure that we talked about uh, was the members benefits, mm-hmm. which you, you and I were, were talking before the podcast. And, you know, it's it's kind of one of those things. It's so unique yeah. that you have to bring it up all the you time do. because agents don't expect a program like this right. to be coming from a carrier. So why don't you give us a quick rundown mm-hmm. of the members benefits? Now, you actually this isn't for agents. This is for people who own a Certificate, as yep. you guys call it, which yep. is a policy, is, mm-hmm. is, is the way most of us would think about it. Right. So this is for policyholders. Could be an agent, could be sure. a client. Anyone who owns a Forester's policy has access to the member's benefits. So yeah. give us a quick rundown yeah. of that program. Yeah, and you're absolutely right. It's unique. Listen, mm-hmm. I've been in this business for 32 years. This will be my 32nd year. And um, this is one of the most unique things that I've seen in 32 years. And, and I've been with Forester's. I'm going on eight years this year. But the beautiful thing is, listen, we've got great products. We've talked about those already. We've got some unique situations with those products. But the member benefits are what really make us stand out. The member benefits are uh, basically items that allow us to enrich ourselves, our community. Um, And I think you'll notice a lot when you look at Forsters as a nonprofit organization, Mm -hmm. uh, we pay no federal and state income taxes. So we take those monies that we would typically pay and we put it back into the member benefits that I'll talk about in just a second. Uh, So there's a significant amount of money available for a client to use, again, for their families, Mm -hmm. for the, uh, the communities in which they live. And one of those are going to be competitive scholarships. Foresters actually awards uh, 250 competitive scholarships per year. I'm sorry, we just increased that 300 competitive scholarships per year, wow. uh, worth up to $2,500 per uh, year. So it is when we talk about competitive scholarships, it's not always for those people that are at the top of the class. You may have somebody that has a 3.2 GPA but does a lot of community service. That's the the uh, you know applicant that we're looking for. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and it works very well. And the beautiful part is it's uh, the scholarship's available for the client, for the policyholder, their spouse, their children, or their grandchildren can apply. So you've got grandma, grandpa that maybe they're buying a smart UL or an Advantage Plus or one of our exp- final expense plans. $10,000 or more, their grandkids can apply for that. As a yeah. matter of fact, we just opened up the scholarship application opportunity now. Right. But again, it's something, if you're in the family market, it, why aren't you talking about this? You're right. not seeing this with other car- carriers. Yep. And again, $2,500 doesn't seem like a lot, but it's a ton when you're the parent writing the check. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. hundred percent. And so the, and these member benefits, to uh, to clarify, these come automatically Free. as soon as you, you don't have to enroll or, or nope. anything like that. They You automatically have access to all these programs. Face amount of $10,000 or more, they're open. Mm-hmm. You know, the other one that we see come up talking about being in the middle market is um, is our law assure, which is our you know our will, power of attorney, and healthcare directive, and a lot of people don't realize the value of that, especially when you're younger. But if you've ever had to deal with a situation where you had to use those, you right. understand. Mm-hmm. But you know, when you become a certificate holder at Foresters, you have the opportunity to access uh, an online portal that allows you to create your own will, mm-hmm. your own power of attorney, your own healthcare directive, again at zero cost. And you can change those as you need, do what you want to. But again, the value of that is if you're a client out there, talk, if you're an agent out there talking to clients, you're talking about their retirement. You're talking about their life insurance. Absolutely. You're talking about their health insurance. Make sure you include the will, the health care directive, and the power of attorney. We're going to make it a little easier for the client to, mm-hmm. to get that. And again, it kind of completes the circle yep. uh, with that family. Um, and in addition to that, the orphan benefit. The orphan benefit is huge. Yes, you know, yes, I, I I love this one. It's phenomenal. I mean, here, here's an opportunity. So let's say that we uh, we go out and we visit with mom and dad. Each of them buy a hundred thousand dollar term, cheapest that they can. Listen, we, we obviously know that's not enough. They got three kids. You right. know, they got so many other things that hundred thousand, but that's all that they can afford. Mm-hmm. Um, no matter what the face amount, as long as it's ten thousand or more, Foresters is going to pay nine hundred dollars a month per child until that child is the age of 18 should mom and dad pass away should those children become legal guardians of somebody should they become orphans right uh then you know then a legal guardian will pay the 900 dollars a month so for three kids that's 2700 dollars a month you know, right. roughly thirty one thousand dollars a year that foresters is going to pay that legal guardian for those kids who are technically orphans right and again, that's a member benefit that doesn't cost a penny. It doesn't, it doesn't cost a penny. It's, it doesn't it, reduce the death benefit. Nothing. And this is what you're getting along with your Forester's policy. That's so right. it, absolutely, it's I think it's crucial for agents to understand um, this should be something. If you're selling a Forester's policy, you've got to be mentioning this got stuff. To. And this is a bonus. I mean, the reason that people are buying a policy in the first place is to protect their kids. God right. forbid if something should happen, they absolutely should know about uh, about you know th- things like member benefits like the orphan uh, right. program. Hey, you see kids running around, you see a bicycle in the front yard, you see pictures on the mantle, you got to talk about this. Absolutely. Because again, it's an opportunity to help protect that family. Yep. But it doesn't stop there because when those children turn age 18, there's another opportunity for each child to receive up to $6,000 per year per child for up to four years per child. Wow. So in, in our case of three children here, that's in potentially $72,000 to use for higher education. Mm-hmm. Whether it's the University of Georgia. Right. Whether go it's, dogs. You know, <laughs> University of Miami, go Canes. Uh, or maybe it's it's tech school. Maybe they want to be a, a, a nurse or, a, a, you know, a paramedic. These are things that Foresters does to help enrich the family. Absolutely. Um, now, how do we enrich the community? Because we talked about yes, that as well. Yes, that was where I was going next. This is actually my 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 favorite one um, as far as from a marketing mind. I, yeah. I just think this is this is absolutely brilliant, especially for agents to yeah. utilize possibly. Yeah, and so how do we enrich the community? Listen, as a nonprofit, we want to make sure that we're involved in the community. We're doing a number of things that we can to help enrich the community in which our clients live. So we have uh, a, a number of member benefits. We're not going to cover them all today, but right. you know some of the favorites. Um, we have our Forester's Care Grant. Our Forester's Care Grant came about at the beginning of the pandemic when, gosh, everybody was locked down. We had so many frontline workers that were just being worked and worked and worked. And so here was an opportunity where an agent or a client uh, could apply for a Forester's Care Grant. It was a $200 very simplified grant issued grant mm-hmm. where we would give a debit card to the client. The client could go buy pizza if they wanted and have it delivered to frontline workers just as, hey, listen, thank right. you. We want to be involved in the community. Yep. 
I remember that that time. There was a lot of pizza being bought for a, <laughs> a lot of nurses and, and things bunch. like that. Yep. Yeah, and it and it went very well, you know. And uh, so we've seen that kind of morph. We kept it, and we've seen that kind of morph into a really useful opportunity. You know, my grandsons and I did one for a uh, an at risk student um, center there in my town, mm-hmm. where we went out, uh, got a two hundred dollar grant, went to Sam's, bought a bunch of uh, food items, things that they needed, and delivered them to this organization. Uh, it was tremendous, mm-hmm. you know, not only for them, but for us as well, because we had the opportunity to participate in what they were doing. Um, and again, it's very simple to, uh, you know, to apply for and, and get it back pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, you know, we were talking earlier that uh, we did a drawing at five rings for a couple of these. I think it was five of them. And um, one person used theirs to buy food for another shelter. Another person used theirs to send down to Fred and Fort Myers to use for their, um, um, I forget the oh, name. Oh, yeah, for the, 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 the volunteer emergency relief. Volunteer emergency relief. VE relief, right. uh, yep. Fred Martin's down there. Yeah, yeah. So it, it went very, very well. And so awesome. that, that's the, the $200 Forester's Care Grant, something very simple. Um, then we have the uh, volunteer grant, the community volunteer grant, which is a $2,000 grant. Yes. And you as a policy holder, certificate holder, can apply for up to three of those per year. So whether you're paying wow. $18 a month, $1,800 a month, you have the ability to apply for up to three of those per year. Those, again, are worth $2,000, a little more paperwork involved. Right. But we see them used a lot for, let's say, um, uh, maybe it's a shelter, a, a homeless shelter, a women's shelter, veteran shelter, sure. where you can provide, you know, hygiene bags and things like that. That, yep. that they're always in need. Socks are a big thing, always in need. Yeah, um, you can see them being used for school book bags, at-risk mm-hmm. schools. That, uh, gosh, they're always needing something, and you know, principals and parents and all will want that. But there are so many opportunities there. And as your clients or as your clients become Foresters members, they have the ability to log on mm-hmm. to myforesters.com and everything's right there to help them along. That and is that is helps. really what I want people to know is that, you know, I, I was asking you earlier, so how do people find out more about right. this? It's just, say it again. The, myforesters.com. 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 You're going to learn about all of these yep. member benefits and how you can get access to them. I absolutely love the idea of, you know, as an agent, you could you could apply for this. Go have a nice fundraising or a, a, a nice event at the school where you're you're donating book yep. bags or you're doing something in the in the community. It's so important not only to help these these you know the, these members of your of your community that need it, but also it, it gives you it gives you visibility. It gets you involved in the community. Right. Right. Uh, it gets people seeing you giving back to the community, and that's that's always good for you. It's good for them. It's good for your soul. Yeah. Uh, and it can also be good for your business as well, which is a nice little it side is. effect. It, it, it is. And that's why, it, listen, I'm not advocating advocating that every agent go out and buy a forester's policy. But as a client, the clients are the ones that have the ability to use it. So if you're an agent wanting to make a difference in your community as well, then you got to own a forester's certificate. you got to own a policy. That is the catch. Yeah. That is the catch. you got to be a, a member to get the member benefits. Absolutely. Um, okay. So, Tony, we've got, um, let's see, I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover here. Um we're, we, it, there's a little uh, a little kind of fun segment that we do to get to know a little bit more about sure. about Tony Morrison. Um, so we're gonna do a quick little uh, you know we call it rapid fire questions Let's here. Let's do it. Um, you gotta make answer, them easy. You, you got. Yeah, well, I'll try. <laughs> you got to answer them fast. That's the only thing. You can't think too all much. Right. All, right? all right. So here we go. Tony right. Morrison from Foresters. What is your favorite drink? Coffee, definitely. Coffee. Hey, hey, cheers, buddy. Cheers, <laughs> cheers. Let's go ahead and get a quick little, little yeah. forgot it was uh, coffee with carriers here for a second. Okay, question number two. Uh, morning person or night owl? Oh, good gosh. Lately, it's been both, but I would say uh, <laughs> probably night owl. <laughs> but it's both. I just don't sleep. It's, it's great. Right. <laughs> uh, all right, so what was your favorite subject in school? Girls. <laughs> Yeah, no, um, gosh, I don't know there was one. I think my father actually told me the night before my graduation he was going to go up there and take the diploma because he felt like he earned it more than I did. So, uh, Worst yeah. subject in school? Um, everything. No. Um, I, <laughs> he loved he loved uh, studying <laughs> girls and didn't like studying anything else. Yeah, I would probably say what you can probably tell is, is was English. I hated English. Maybe, maybe it was the instructor. But, I mean, I've got <laughs> – I've gotten to like her over the years now that I know her more, but at that point in time, she wasn't my favorite. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right, what? Uh, getting a little deep here, yeah. what advice would you give your younger self? Oh, good gosh. Um, 
be willing to change anything. Listen, I mean, you know, we, we have these grandiose ideas of how things should go, but we've got to be able to pivot mm-hmm. and pivot with confidence. I mean, take your time, look at things, you know, certainly uh, looks at the, the pluses and the minuses, but when you do make up your mind, go with 110%. Because if you don't, you just cheat yourself. I love it, man. That is sound, solid advice. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would that be? Uh, anywhere my grandkids are. <laughs> so <laughs> where, I a, where are your grandkids now? In Lakeland. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, so they're about five minutes away, which is good. You're living the dream. That, well, you know what? I told my, my son that if they moved, we wouldn't, but uh, that's a lie. I mean, yeah. we, we would be there in a heartbeat. That's fantastic. Uh, any phobias? Snakes. Definitely snakes. I have the same phobia, I, I think. I, 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 I mean, it, when they're live in front of me, I'm fine. But, like, I have those. The only recurring nightmare I think I have is, like, the one where snakes are everywhere. <laughs> that's right. And I'm like, I don't know what that says. But yeah, I, 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 I don't care if it's non-poisonous, whatever. It, they just scare me to death. <laughs> I, I don't know why. They're creepy, man. Yeah. People who own snakes as pets. I got my eye on you. Yeah, we, we need to talk. <laughs> I just want to, you know. That, that, that or at least have you talk you. to somebody. It somebody. doesn't love you. <laughs> it would right. eat you if it could fit you in its mouth. That's all I'm saying. That's, That's not a great right. bet. Uh, what do you believe is your best non-physical feature? Because you obviously have very many physical features <laughs> that are fantastic. What is your best non-physical feature? Oh, good gosh. I think I'm loyal to the death. Yeah. So uh, it's, uh, you, that listen, is a fantastic quality. It, you know, here's the deal. I mean, it's I, I think it's incumbent upon each of us to be that way. Mm-hmm. You know, it's if people expect you to be loyal, um, and you know that's that's how you get your deep friendships. But yeah, certainly loyalty I think is is a huge attribute. I love it. I totally agree. All right, now here's uh, here's the final question, maybe the deepest of all. What would Uh-oh. you change about yourself? Oh, good gosh. Uh, you know, it's interesting you ask that one because it's definitely weight. Uh, <laughs> Maybe I should say non-physical again because <laughs> we would all take 20, 30 pounds You know, off. it's a, you know, I bought this Apple Watch thinking, listen, it's going to track everything. It's going to help me. Um, yeah, it doesn't help it at all. It just reminds you. It just reminds yeah. me, you know, to stand up, to do exercise or whatever it is. So, uh, Hey, man, you haven't, uh, you haven't stood up in three hours. That's like, right. Thanks, Apple Watch. That's it's right. Silent. <laughs> oh, it's, it's funny. So, uh, so we'll see how that goes. I've had it about three weeks, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens there. Um, gosh, what would I change about? Um, you know, I wish I had to listen to myself earlier. You know, mm-hmm. we talked about uh, making changes. You know, we get comfortable. And, and listen, I think comfort at times is a detriment to everybody. I agree. So, you know, the opportunity to to push forward on something and take the chance. But, you know, certainly with taking the chance, you got to have somebody that's going to be beside you. You know, certainly a spouse, a significant other. Mm-hmm. But also look for that mentor. That's some, somebody that has been down the road that you've been and they can help lead you. That's very true. That's very true. I have to remind myself all the time. You know, it's it's so easy to get to get comfortable and yep. just sorry. Right, this is my little. This is my box. This is my area of expertise, and I'm just going to yep. focus on doing this. But when you stop learning, you stop growing. When you right. stop growing, what are we even living for, right? I mean, we we, we have to c- continue to learn, continue right. to 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 expand our skill sets, um, and you know, live live life that yep. way. Yep. Yep. Certainly. Uh, Tony, thank you so much for joining so us welcome. for Coffee for Carriers. Yeah. I really Always. appreciate you coming up. Yeah. We're going to film a lot of fantastic content while you're here. Yep. Uh, for those agents that are on the line, Alliance Group agents, we're going to have a brand new Alliance Group course under virtual courses. It's going to be a Forester's course, um, and uh, that's what we're going to do with Tony in the next couple of days. So we Great. look forward to it, Tony. Thanks for Great. joining us thank again on the so Alliance much. Group podcast. Yeah, appreciate it as always. Of course. Listen to this interview and more on the Alliance Group podcast.